Hey guys, welcome to another Scrap Saturday. And uh, sorry, my first video I was just trying to see where the camera angle was going to be, what kind of lighting I would get. And this is my finished layout from my first video. And I just added my trim at the top, wrote in my journaling, some buttons, and a stamp. And I'm okay with the white space. I know for some people it's hard. 12 by 12 is hard because you think that you have to cram in a lot of stuff, but you don't. You can leave white space, you can play around, you can fill it in, you can do whatever you like. You can even add um, some more photos if you'd like. But we just started out with our first one picture layout. So for today's project, or my series of projects until I'm completed, I'm working on a train album for my son, and I just made this little stand for it. And it's because normally when I do make mini albums, I never have a place to put them. They don't stand properly, they're pretty thick. And so I was trying to think outside of the box, what can I do that could make it easier so that I could put the mini album in his room and display it and that it would look accessible. I'm just gonna show you with a different album that I've got, that if you just place it on the inside, it actually just sits. So the train mini album, I'm gonna show you um, where I got it from and where my ideas are from. And I got it from the cartridge My World. And it's on page 17. There are the trains. And for the box that I just showed you, or the stand for my mini album, I cut out the train engine from a 12 by 12 uh, black piece of cardstock. And I cut it at fit to page, which gave me a 6 and 3 quarter size train to work with. And then I used an 11 or an 8.5 by 11 black cardstock for my album, which is, I guess, the caboose part, the middle part, I have no idea, the train car part. That's what the cartridge calls it. And it's supposed to have two of the little attachments that continue on. Um, how I guess a train attaches to itself. But in order to use my bind it all and get a nice binding, I cut that part off with my uh, scissor or X-Acto knife. I did not use my Cricut to do my chipboard pieces. I just cut out a stencil, cut off this part, and then used my chipboard, traced it, and used my Tim Holtz scissors to cut them out and a little bit of my X-Acto knife for a little bit of the details. I'm not too happy when I use my Cricut to cut out chipboard. I find that my uh, multi-cuts or even my deep cut blade, it jumps around the page a little bit so I just don't want to damage the motor. And again with my train, that's what I did. I'm missing a little bit of the front part, but when I did my actual um, cardstock, I just glued the little extension piece there to the front because I don't have 12 by 12 chipboard. So you just make do. Sometimes, you know, whatever you have on hand is whatever you need. So I cut out uh, seven pages. Two of them will be my cover, five will be my inside. And so I've gone ahead and just done one of the bindings for it. And with my bind it all, I inserted it at this point, punched my holes, used my binder guide or whatever that little guide thing is that you push out, inserted my first hole and then punched another two so that I would have equal amount of spacing. And I'm pretty happy with that. I don't like leaving too much of a gap at the top because then your albums tend to flap or hinge and they don't look too sturdy. So I haven't finished the rest of that. I think on my next video we'll do it together and uh, we'll see where we get with that. So that's what I did and I, I glued down my um, cardstock and I painted my edges with some paint and a little bit of ink. As you can see my hands are all black but that was a lot of fun. And I'll go ahead and show you. Um, my front cover will be solid. 
so I can put a title um, and maybe some embellishment or some brads and some else buttons maybe. Um, but my inside cars are what I'm most excited about. And I'll show you that. And I haven't finished, I'm just showing you what we're going to be working on. And what I did was, I used my Gypsy, and with the hide contour, because it's supposed to cut at this point too, and it's only supposed to be attached at these two little corners. So it's kind of like a decoration type, how the Cricut normally cuts out these lines for definition. But with my Gypsy, I was able to use the hide contour and hide this complete cut so that I could make it into a flap type. Um, almost like a little door, like a trap door, like what is that train carrying? And I used double-sided paper because I knew that I wanted this door to open so that we could see the photo underneath. I'm just grabbing a photo. I wanted you to be able to see what type So it's not the photo I'm going to be using, sorry. But so underneath, as you can see, it would be closed like that. And then when you open up, you'd see your photo in there. I mean, you could do whatever you wanted. You could make it a pocket. You could put a tag. But this is what my um, album's going to be like once it's finished. Maybe add some brads along the bottom, but we'll do that together. And so that's what I did for every single page. My pages alternate. So on that one, the door opens on that side. On this side, the door will be opening the other way. So you've got the crisscross look of the train. And then your photos will be on the inside. And so the bottom part of my chipboard is cut out of the shadow feature. This top portion is not. It's cut out on the straight feature so that it does kind of sit in and you always have that nice black bordered edge around. And again, I went ahead and punched this chipboard, but I haven't done it with uh, anything glued down. So it's just my prototype and I'm working on it. But if you'd like to work on it together with me, I'll, I'll keep doing postings and videos of what my next stage is. And so there you have it. That's what I'm working on for today, Scrap Saturday. And um, yeah, this cartridge, I wouldn't say I don't know what else I would do with it. But sometimes if you open it up and you take your time and you look through the pages and you think to yourself, you know, what could I make with it? And a lot of the shadow features or the blackout features, there's a lot of interesting things that you could make a mini album out of or, you know, something that just you haven't seen done if you've gone on a cruise and little houses and horses. But when I stopped on the train, I knew for sure that that's what I wanted to do. But again, my biggest issue is I never have a place to put my mini albums. You know, my kids' rooms are on their tables underneath their, their beds. There's never a place to put it. So I really liked my stand. And the base of it is four inches wide because I love to embellish my mini albums. Again, that was a front piece that I was telling you my chipboard didn't cut out all the way, but I just glued it down. I added some brads. This is actually a button. Um, that I pushed through and hot glued down and then I distressed it and painted it and it was so much fun to do. The glue edges are still a little bit raw. I might go back and add some more um, cardstock to it and make it a little bit neater but it's just so much fun and my son is actually so excited. He's come in here a few times like, oh mommy I love it. It's great. So hopefully you'll enjoy the little maybe three, four part series. I don't know how long it'll take me. It'll take me a couple of Saturdays to do. Uh, and then uh, we'll keep on going. I've got plenty of ideas. I hope that you enjoy them. Give me your feedback. I'll keep playing with the angles and uh, the lighting. It's early morning, so this is the brightest my room does get. Uh, I'm only working with a small little camera right now, but it's awesome. I'm not complaining. I'm just hoping that, you know, I can share my ideas and that you can have lots of fun with me while I go on my adventures and my journeys with my mini albums. I do do layouts. I do also make cards, so we'll be doing a lot of that. Never throw away your scraps. 
at the end I always try to use my scraps and I always try to make a card even if it's just a generic birthday card you always have some reason a thank you card you don't have to stamp them you can stamp them when you give them away but the intention of making a card is part of my routine because they're so useful and it's always a waste of paper. You never know what to do with the rest of your scraps. Well, I'm going to show you what to do with them as well. I have one of my favorite ideas, which I think is a neat trick. And you, all you need is a pair of scissors. You can draw out a heart shape. You can draw out a flower shape. Things don't need to be perfect. They just need to be fun. So have a great day and thanks for